Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with AP Physics 1. We're looking at circular motion problems today. Okay, so to study circular motion, two students use the handheld device above, which consists of a rod on which a spring scale is attached. A polished glass tube attached to the top serves as a guide for a light cord attached to the spring scale. A ball of mass, two kilograms, latched to the other end of the cord. One student swings the teal around at a constant speed in a horizontal circle with radius 0.5 meters. Assume friction and air resistance are negligible. Explain on the students by using a timer and this information given can determine the speed of the ball that it is revolving. So I'm revolving a ball, it's got a spring, spring scale. Um, they're doing the spring scale, so they're they're seeing what the tension here, right? Like, on the spring scale, it's going to feel Ft. That's what it's going to measure, this tension force. And we know that Ft is going to have to equal the mv squared over r. So what they're doing is they're saying v is equal to um, square root of r times Ft over m. So they're doing this. I, I'm explaining in words. I don't really want to write it out because it's kind of boring for you guys to watch me write. But basically, um, they're using this equation to solve for v. They know r, this distance here, 0.5 meters. Ft is the reading from the spring scale. And m is the mass of the object, 0.2 kilograms. So they're using the, the spring scale reading to measure the velocity to, and then calculate what the velocity is from the spring scale reading. B, the speed of the ball is determined to be 3.7 meters per second. Assuming the cord is horizontal as it swings, calculate the expected tension in the cord. Um, so here, I, Ft right, is equal to mv squared over r. m is 0.2 kilograms. v squared is 3.7 meters per second squared. And then I'm going to divide this by r, which was 0.5 meters. I have to use a calculator for this. Um, uh, I'm supposed to use a graphing calculator, but I'm going to use the graphing functions. I was just going to show you how I'm going to enter it in. Five point four seven six. The actual tension in the cord is measured by the spring scale as 5.8 newtons. What is the percent difference between the measured value and the calculated value? So percent error is uh, okay. Um, yeah, uh, percent difference would be 5.8 minus 5.476. divided by percent difference between this measured value and the value we do by 5.476. So the actual value is um, 5.8 minus 5.476 divided by 5.476. It's 5.9 uh, or 5.9 percent higher. Uh, the students find that despite their best efforts, they cannot swing the ball so that the cord remains exactly horizontal. On the picture ball, draw the velocity vector, which is represent the force acting the ball. Identify the force that each vector represents. Um, yeah, there's no way they can keep it totally horizontal because mg, and then they're going to have ft. Um, because you see, if it were totally horizontal, then this thing would have a net y acceleration, right? The the cord cord tension needs a y not y direction y component to cancel mg. 
and calculate the angle it makes with respect to the horizontal. Well, um, I don't know if it's for these specific numbers, but you would have ft cosine theta would have to equal mv squared over r. Okay. So, um, no, actually, um, I wouldn't use this. I would use the vertical. So ft sine theta is equal mg. Oh, yeah, and then here's ft. So I would divide these two equations, kind of like I did before uh, on the previous problem. Previous. So this divided by this would be ft sine theta over ft cosine theta equals mg over mv squared over r. So that would be tangent theta is equal to gv squared over r. No, oh, this r comes up, the, uh, I don't know what, g over v squared over r, so it's gr over v squared. So theta would equal tan inverse of gr over v squared. Okay, hope you guys found that helpful. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.